Oh, dear. That's Tinker's latest invention. He calls it a salesman discourager. Sorry it knocked you down. Oh, that's okay. I was tired of standing anyway. Is Tinker home? He's in his laboratory as usual. What's he inventing today? You never know with Tinker. <laughs> curiosity seekers. See? It's only made of rubber. So are my knees. Come see my latest experiment, the Tinker Tingly Hair and Scalp Conditioner, guaranteed to grow hair on a billiard ball. Wow, that's terrific, Tink. Yeah, but who wants to shoot pool with a hairy billiard ball? Not the ball, silly. I'm going to market the hair tonic. Ow. Now, all I need is a catchy slogan, like, replace that glare with living hair. I got a better one, Tink. One bottle, and you're a beetle. Sorry, old timer. Better luck next time. Well, Orville. No dice, Wilbur. Well, back to Kitty Hawk. Never get off the ground. <laughs> now, what can I do for you, young man? I'd like to take out a patent on this hair-growing formula I invented. A hair-growing formula? <laughs> Listen, son, only a complete idiot would believe you can grow hair on a bald head. And I want to know. I tried them all. Well, you haven't tried this one. I call it Tinker Tingley's Tonic for Timid Dresses. I'll show you how it works. In about 10 seconds, you'll have a luxurious head of hair. What the? And if you're not out of this office in less than 10 seconds, I'll call the police. He certainly drives a hard bargain. The nerve of those brats wasting my time with nonsense about hair-growing formulas. <laughs> Probably made the stuff out of raspberry syrup. Who was that? Leaping lawsuits? It really works. And to think I actually laughed in his face. No, I must find him before he throws that bottle away. You might as well throw that bottle away, Tink. Nobody's interested in it. Throw it away? Are you kidding? I worked 20 minutes mixing this formula. Breadcrumbs? No, dandruff. Thank heavens, I haven't lost him. Beautiful, perfect. Just the man I need for my symphony orchestra. A genuine long-haired musician. I'll give you $500 a week, but not a penny more. Get rid of that stuff already. It's not doing any good. Guess you're right. Women, they're never on time for an appointment. Oh, no, Fenster. I don't think that's very funny at all. <laughs> Making fun of me because I'm a few hours late. Oh, I never want to speak to you again. I don't know how those kids did it. Wait till I get my hands on them. Uh-oh. That man looks like he's after us. Let's get out of here. I'll teach those brats to ruin a beautiful relationship. Okay, it's safe to come out now. Now will you listen to me? Throw that bottle away before it gets us into more trouble. Uh, I guess you're right, Sheldon. Well, here goes. No! Wait! Stop! Thank heavens, I... I caught it. You nearly threw away a fortune. Who are you? I'm Mr. Humbug, the patent attorney with the bald head. I mean, the glorious head of wavy hair. Uh, remember? Oh, yes. I'm going to help you patent this stuff and guarantee you'll make millions. Did, did you hear that, Tink? You'll be the youngest millionaire ever. Wow! No. Now look what you've done. Ah, what are you getting excited about? Good old Tink can whip up another batch in no time. Can't you, Tink? Huh? 
can't you? You, you mean? I don't remember the formula. Oh, oh no! no. Sanitation department, please send one of your men over immediately. Oh, yes, and tell him to bring a lawnmower. 